you guys see the definitions that's happening i'm not oh my oh my gosh oh wow Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be filming a hair video, a curly hair video, obviously. And um, it's going to be on da -da 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 -da, the curl talk line. So I don't know about you guys, but I saw this on Bianca Renee's YouTube channel and she was testing this product out on her beautiful hair. Thank you for um, showing us this product. I've been trying to get my hands on this for, I can't even say, probably like two months. So I picked up this. Um, the This is their mousse. Um, this is the sculpting gel and this is the defining cream. So I got all three of these beautiful products. Specifically, I'm gonna start off with the mousse. So, just so you guys know, this is gonna be a two-part video. I'm going to start this one, the first part with the mousse, test it out on my hair, and then I am going to film another video another day so you guys can see which one I kind of like better um, and how they work in my hair. Um, I don't really know what to expect, so I guess we're just gonna get into it and try it out. So you guys, just before we start, I have shampooed and conditioned my hair with the Manuku, Manuka and Honey um, shampoo, conditioner, and then their hair mask. So it's my normal process. Um, I'll link that video uh, in the description below so you guys can see it. So literally right now my hair is just freshly washed. Ooh, girl, look at that. Um, I also measured my hair, ooh, it's super soft. I also measured my hair and it's about four and a half inches long. It doesn't say whether your hair should be wet or dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, by the way, it says no sulfates, uh, no silicones, no alcohol, no dyes, no parabens, and I can't pronounce the last word. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so the directions say shake vigorously and dispense upside down into hands. Start at roots, work evenly through curls, style as usual, uh, and it's safe for natural and color treated hair. So let me get the stuff. I just have a little bit of water in uh, this black vanilla Carol's Daughter bottle. I like to reuse the bottles for things that I don't have. I need to get a water bottle sprayer. I'm also going to be styling my hair with a rat tail comb and a toothbrush, which you guys have, you guys have seen on my channel. So now I'm just going to re-wet my hair. Two hours later. Has anybody else tried this product? Do you guys like it? Do you not like it? I like to part my hair here. Oh wow, well that's cool. Oh, that's a lot of product, okay. Oh, it smells really good. Mmm, I love the way it smells. A little bit perfumey, but it smells really, really good. All right, whatever, just forget about it. Dang! <laughs> I'm just gonna finger comb this in right now normally uh, when I use the foaming lotion um, wow it seems to be really defined in my curls though um, but I'm kind of far away from the mirror so wow do you guys see this let me get it closer do you guys see the definitions that's happening I'm not oh my oh my gosh oh wow oh okay Oh, y'all, I'm not doing much. I'm literally, do you, am I tripping? Do you guys see this? It literally feels like I'm playing with a foam cloud. Oh, I love it. Now I may be using too much product. I, you know, I'm just trying to make sure. My hair is saturated. My hair, my hair gotta be saturated, sorry. And if it's a little crunchy, I don't mind crunchy because crunchy means hold and I need hold, girl. I don't know about you, but I need hold. I don't know about you, but I need hold. As you can see, my hair is, it's not perfect yet. This is why I use a toothbrush. Oh yeah. Y'all, if you have long hair though, yeah. This product, this is it. For long hair, this, this is just perfect, like, you can smooth the strands, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can use your hand to like, or a comb to smooth the strands and all of that. And so this would be really, really good for longer hair. So I am back. 
I literally just used a regular toothbrush and went all around my head um, like I normally do um, and just kind of got more defined curls and then I also used a toothbrush to lay my baby hairs because you know <laughs> you gotta have the baby hairs lay so let's talk about this product I like it if I could give it a rating out of 10 I would probably give this a seven if you have longer hair where you can section your hair off into smaller sections and apply this while your hair is wet on those individual sections this would probably be like a really really good product I give it a seven out of ten first for the pros um, as soon as you put this in your hair you start to see definition that's what I mean you guys saw this is what I just experienced with my hair I immediately see definition um, it smells really good it smells if you don't like perfume smells though this probably won't be a product or a smell that you love but um, it smells really really good and um, it definitely I believe I will update you guys um, in a couple of hours to show you kind of how my hair is feeling and what it looks like um, but it definitely seems like it has a ton of hold now the cons of this product is Obviously, if you're not able to separate your hair or section your hair, this starts to dry into your hair really, really fast. But once I started getting to the back, it was, I don't want to, tangled is the word that's on my mind, but it's not necessarily that it's tangled, it's just that the product has started to set. So trying to retake that toothbrush through the curls that are already trying to set made it a little bit of a, a difficult process. Also, what I did not like is that after I got done styling my hair, it was like a, a film all over my, around, on my hands. And so I went to rinse my hands off with water and it didn't wash off. I had to use soap to get the product off my hands, which is, I don't, I don't know. It's not concerning, but um, I just wonder how that's going to change in my hair like if i go to wash my hair out is it going to is it leave a cast because that's exact that's the word that's what it left it left a cast all over my hands and they were still sticky and they still are a little bit let me give you guys a close-up shot of my hair so can you see this So yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna let it dry. It's it's still pretty wet right now. So I will follow back up with you guys in a couple hours once my hair is dry. It's been a while. What time is it? What time is it, Sean? Seven. It's been like four hours. And my hair is still not all the way dry. So I guess that's another con. With the Nairobi foaming lotion, it usually would be dry within an hour or so parts that are fully dry um, are crispy again that could be because I put too much product in but that doesn't really bother me um, I still have definition I still have hold these, these the results the aren't, bad. aren't bad I like it I, like it. I can't I say, can't anything, say else. anything else hey guys I just got off work and I just kind of wanted to come on here and update you okay since I use that product this is actually not the product in my hair this is actually um, Nairobi and it's my original process that I do with my hair normally um, but since I used the um, mousse in my hair I had it in for about three days and Honestly, I don't know exactly what I rated it before. Seven out of ten. I'm like, it's not a bad product. But now I probably rate it like a four out of ten. And I only say that because, well, two things. I, again, I mentioned that I may have used too much product, which is not usually an issue for my hair. So even when I do or have, when I had longer curly hair, I use tons and tons of product, like loaded it on. And I've never had this issue. But you remember when I spoke about the residue? So on like second and third day hair, I was like, I would scratch my scalp. And then at, when I put my finger on my actual scalp, it was literally like a sticky thick residue on my finger like thick to the point to where I couldn't I had to use soap to wash it off and then like if I touched anything after I touched my head like I would have stuff stuck to my fingers and like I really just I really don't like that um so again guys this is just the experience that I had with the product I would definitely still recommend that you try it because I did see definition I do see potential in the product it's Everybody's curly hair is different, so just keep that in mind. But I would definitely suggest give it a try. 
but from my experience with my hair i probably still um prefer my nairobi um foaming lotion over that mousse so that's my honest review you guys i hope you enjoyed this video um don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe um all that good stuff um i look forward to hearing from you guys and hearing your thoughts and um yeah i'll see you guys in my next video so peace